Hi everyone, my name is Joyful Julian. Thank you all for joining me. I hope your day is full with good surprises. And this word I'm giving you today is something that comes from my heart. When you are doing something or I am doing something, sometimes we feel like we need to change. It's okay to change where it's changed for the good. And sometimes if we don't receive a, a result right away, we want to say, I got to do something different to get that change. There are times where we have to do something different to see the progress grow. But sometimes even when you feel like, I just want to give up, you still keep doing that same thing. There are times when the Lord will speak to us and say, do something different. Don't do that. But there are times when it's persistent, when you are consistent, where uh, it's like when you have a relationship with somebody, there should always be a connection. In life, sometimes when you don't receive or you don't see the result right away, it's okay because you are still consistent, persistent, and you're connecting with that person or you're connecting with what you need to connect with. Listen, I am speaking to my own self, everyone, and I just hope to encourage someone today. Whatever you're doing, you may be a nurse and you consistently um, work in every day. Sometimes your hours are long and you feel like you need to get paid more. Keep doing it and something has to grow. Whenever you do something consistently, it will grow. Whatever you try to do, you keep doing it. You may not see it right away, but it will grow. I'll give you an example. I, I know someone and I'm speaking to myself when I said somewhere. It's like you, you're doing something consistently and it seems like it's not as growing as much as you think it should. You see, everything going to get older and everything is, is growing in a way even if you don't see it. Let's say you are a YouTuber, you have Instagram, Facebook, you know, you, you're doing it for the glory of God. But let's say you, you see other people numbers like this and your number like this. Don't worry about it because you, you're doing it out of your heart. If you're doing this for a living and you need to have consistent money come in every week, every two weeks, every month, you, you want to work hard and because you need that consistency, you need that income to come in. Or you may be a person who's been doing something for a long time and you still don't see results. There are many people who were told no over and over again. And right when they thought about giving up, someone said yes. I'll give you an example. A person could be I'm digging for oil, and they dig and dig, and nothing happened. They keep digging, then boom, it, it explodes. I'll give you another example. You could plant a seed. It it looks like nothing happened. Then you see a little bud coming out. Then it starts growing. Sometimes when we don't receive or see the result, we still be consistent. Even if it looks like nothing is happening, until the Lord said, this is it, no further, you keep going, you keep digging, you keep going. Because a lot of time, just when we're about to give up, that's when it grows and that blessing come in. I'm speaking to myself as well as people that need to hear this today. God is speaking to my heart about consistent, be consistent. Don't give up. Even if you don't see it, believe it. Don't give up. There are times God going to say no further and you say, Lord, it belongs to you. But there are times if it's a job, if it's um, something you be working on and, and, you, and you're trying to do it, somebody you're trying to help. And, you know, one thing I love about God, he doesn't force his way on us and he doesn't want us to force our 
wait on someone else. He wants us to be consistent. Being consistent sometimes is even when you love somebody and they reject you, say no. You could be consistent in praying for their soul. You could be consistent in, in still, you don't have to be in their face, but you could love them and still lift them up in prayer and give them to God. Or you could be consistent in, I can give you an example, um, you who may want children and you don't see the result, uh, you know, God might give you a baby at an older age. He might, or God may say, okay, adopt this child. You never know what God will do, but be consistent about it. I said be consistent about it. If you're waiting to heal, waiting to have a baby, keep trying. Wherever the way God opened up the door, he will open up the door for his glory. But when I said be consistent, don't give up. Even if you're not doing something, write something down. That day, say you need to, every day you go jogging, or every day you go walking, or you walk out of the gym, and you miss one day, why did I say, okay, I missed this day, but thank you, God. I'll make it up, God. I can do it again because I like doing this. I give this to you. You know, just write about it. Be consistent about everything that God's put in your heart to do. Um, I am very compassionate. Be passionate about what God has given you to do. Uh, for example, if you are a person who who's been visiting someone in the hospital and you don't see any improvement, you still go, you still be encouraged until that person bring their life for you still pray for that person, you still love that person, you still have hope. And even if the God take them home, there still is a, a love and a peace that comes because God sees that you are consistent and God's not a man he should lie. He will give you the grace and the um the in him his power to continue to go forward be consistent until god said no further you keep being consistent you keep doing what you need to do um you may take a class and maybe see difficult and you want to give up but god didn't tell you to give up this class so you still stay in that class you continue to go there are people who take great they took our student loans and it was a lot of money. And you know, even if you pay a little at a time, be consistent. Eventually it will be paid off. Be consistent. And um, I'm, I'm saying this to all of you who are here and to my heart because on my second vlog, in the second video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm talking about being consistent. When you are consistent, you are saying, Something is going to happen. When you are consistent, you say, even if I don't see it, I believe it. When you are consistent, you say, I'm not giving up because God didn't tell me to give up on it. Keep being consistent on it. You may be wanting to lose weight. And trust me, I like to eat too. And it's difficult sometimes because people, you go to this place, here, they offer you things, but little at a time, Stop eating one item that you really like or, or try to eat less of it. Be consistent on eating less. If it's possible, just drink more water and eat less. Be consistent whatever you do. Um, if you want to take up a hobby and, and you don't know what hobby to take, you say, oh, God, I, I, I'm, I live by myself. I have nobody here. La, 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 la. God will let you know. Go to church. Be consistent. And then you say to God, is this a church you want me in, be consistent by going to church. Be consistent by reading the word of God every day. Be consistent. Commit yourself on reading the Holy Bible. Read the word every day in your heart, every day to yourself. Open. You know why I got my phone? I got Bible verses that pop up constantly on my, on my phone. And the reason why I have these Bible verses, thank you, Lord, I'm glad I got these Bible verses that pop up constantly because the word of God can, can never come back. The word of God is alive and always reminds us who we are in Christ Jesus. Be consistent. Okay, you may not have time because you work and you go to sleep, get tired for work. And you say, read the Bible, half hour a day. Then maybe read an hour, another day, then two hours. Be consistent. You say, oh, baby, try gradually. Say, okay, I can't do this, but a little at a time. Be consistent about being a little bit of something, then nothing of something. In other words, 
God word said, be faithful with little, you be faithful with much. Be consistent with what you got. Be consistent. I love being consistent by clean where I live. I love clean where I live. Even though I get tired sometimes, I'm consistent about it. I'll tell you something about me. I do not like dirty dishes in the sink. I, I just, that's just me. So I always, there's never dirty dishes in my sink. You know how people, they put their dishes in the sink and let it soak? That's fine. You know, I don't judge anybody. But for me, I'm consistently scrubbing pasta and pads in my hand because I don't want dirty dishes in the sink. Never. That's something I taught my daughters. Everybody's different. They can have dishes in the sink, and that's fine. I'm consistent about no dirty dishes in my sink. And your consistency may be um, you have, um, you like things organized and stuff like that. But I'm just saying about being consistent. And now, you know, anybody come here, they go in, they'll never see dishes in the sink. Because my mind program, because I kept doing faithfully, I never had dirty dishes in the sink. Now, if I'm consistent about something like that, how much more I should be consistent about spending time with God? How much more I should be consistent about loving and worshiping God and praying? Yes, I do do that, but I know I should do it more. Let's be consistent. What well, God give us to be consistent. For example, you may be a mom who work outside of home. You also have a lot of things to do and you're helping someone else and you want to go to your children's um, play or children, whatever, recital, whatever they're doing at school. And because of your job, you feel like you cannot go. Well, stop gradually. Ask someone your job and say, you know, my child really want me to be there. Can anyone fill it? Start gradually. And if they say no, keep asking. Be consistent about asking. When your child or your loved one asks you to be at a place and your job make it difficult for you to take the days off, ask. Keep asking. Be consistent by asking. The Bible said we have not because we ask not. So if you have children and they want you there, you know you have to work and provide for them. But be consistent about asking for time more. Be consistent about getting those days off. You feel like you use up all your time, vacation pay, but talk to someone about it because your child wants you there. Be consistent. You may not go to every game or every uh, recital or what the child doing, but be consistent about getting up and going to that destination that you want to go to for that loved one. Be consistent. Be consistent. And let you and I be people of our word. Let our yes be a yes and no be a no. Be consistent, everyone. Let, not, let us not let what's out there stop us from doing something that we are passionate about, that we truly care about, and we know it's going to grow. I'll give you another example. I'm not doing this because of Judy. This is because God has spoke to me in my heart, and I'm consistent about it. And even when I'm, I'm doing multitasking stuff, no matter what, I would not be away two weeks from this channel. Because I heard from God, and God keep telling me to go on. A lot of time, I want to kind of do something else and do something else. Until the Lord tell me to do it, then I would do it. But one thing I am is consistent. You can be consistent in whatever you do. Trust me, one day, you will see the fruit of your labor. It will happen, no matter how, how much you try and you see other people blow it up, and you say, where's my time? Wait, God is taking care of you. The word of God said, I never see the righteous forsaken, or they see begging for bread. So if God tell you to continue to pick up that child every day after school, and you volunteer your child to pick up someone's child, be consistent on that. Keep doing that. And to that person gets someone to pick up his or her child, you do that when you have the time. Be consistent on your giving. Don't ever stop giving. Like people said to me, I don't have anything to give. We all have something to give. 
Every last one. I don't care. It has nothing to do with money. It's about your time. But if you have the money to give, be consistent on giving. You know, you, we all should give our tithes and offering. Give our tithes. You know, we're giving unto the Lord. We're not giving unto man. You see, when we give, we're consistent with tired. God say, part of we will bless him, and we will have room to receive it. And that means that God say, we'll open up the gates of heaven, and part of blessing you'll be over. You can receive it. It'd be so much blessing. But be consistent with tithing because the Bible said, can man rob God? With tithes and offering. Be consistent on your giving. You're giving unto the Lord. Don't think about, oh, what that pastor did, or this player. No, think about God. You're giving unto the kingdom of God. And you're trusting that God people will do right by it. You're doing it for the glory of God. Be consistent. Be consistent. Give generously from your heart. Give from your heart. The Bible said, God love a cheerful giver. If you don't have uh, much finance, volunteer your time and cook somebody a meal. Be consistent with that. Cooking. If you're a very good cook, be consistent in cooking. Keep cooking. Cook for someone else besides yourself. Be consistent. You, you, you be, if you walk around or you just talk to your neighbors, especially the elderly and some younger people too, a good hot cooked meal would work would be such a blessing because a lot of elderly people some of them live alone and some of them have an aid but some of them live alone they would like to have someone just to talk to or cook their meal and if you have the time be consistent on that keep visiting that mature elderly woman and let us just feel the love of god that comes through you his servant be consistent on that don't worry about the money. Money will come. But if you put God first, God said all those things be added on to you. You just be consistent, everyone. When God told you to do something, do it. God spoke to me about doing this channel. And I'm not giving up on the channel because God did not tell me no. And I'm grateful to God just to be here. Yes, would I like to see more things happen with this channel? Yes. Would I like to see other things happen? Yes. But I'm, I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. You see, God showed me when I put him first. Hallelujah. When you put him first, glory be to God. He will bless you. Press down to, press together, shake it over, run it over. He will bless you. He will take care of you and your children being consistent. Be consistent. You haven't heard no for God. So keep doing what you're doing. You want to lose some weight? Do something. Be consistent about it. Like me, to lose weight, I go walking. I walk a couple miles a day. If I don't get to walk a couple miles a day, I do things around the house just to exercise. Be consistent. You know, it's not easy. No, it's easy. They say it's easy said than done. But do something. Do something. Like tonight, I'm going to clear my closet. <laughs> you know, I just love organizing. Yeah. Be consistent. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep on. Even if you don't see the result, trust me, it comes together like a beautiful puzzle. And you see all the pieces. And you go, wow. All those pieces are beautifully unified together. Hallelujah. You may not see it, but it's growing. It's growing. It's growing and growing and growing. And even sometimes when things are taken away from you and you get distracted, that's okay. God is giving back to you. God said he would give back to you everything the locusts and canker were ate up. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Be consistent. Be connected. Keep connecting with what you're connecting with. If you need to connect with a person, keep connecting with them. If God tell you this is it, then you stop. But you keep on. You're going to see the fruit of your labor. You know, I got this, this flower here, this beautiful flower I got for my daughter. And I put water in it. You know, I don't know how long it will last, but, you know, I talk to flowers and stuff like that. But... I don't know how long it lasts, but I'm consistent. I give it water and get a little flower food that came with it. And you know what? I'm 
consistently like have flowers here. People give me flowers. Like I might have one um, artificial flower, but most of the flowers I have are real. This is real. This is real. Okay, I don't want to come on. I'll take one stem out. See, this one is real. I'll bring it close to you. It's going there, look. But most of my flowers are real. And, and I'll tell you one thing. I love flowers, right? I love flowers, right? But the consistency is I do have an artificial flower. But I always have real flowers. You know why? I just speak it. I love flowers. Like I have this. This is real. I got it in the water. See? This lasts forever. This lasts forever. These these kind of things last forever. And it smells good. And, and again, just speak by speaking something and believing in it and you being consistent, watch what God will do in your life. Be consistent. I give you another example. If you want a relationship and you say, Lord, wow, I can't meet nobody. Walk outside. Smile when you walk in. Somebody say hello, say hello back. Don't be afraid to say hello. You ask the God for a relationship and you go like this. Are you going, who the hell? Don't talk to me. No, it's okay to smile. It says, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Be consistent. Keep smiling to anyone. It doesn't have to be the opposite sex. It could be a child, a man, a woman. Let that love of God shine through you. Let every soul you see smile. Smile. You know, God truly amazed me because he keeps giving me more than I could ever could ask for. I'm sharing this message with you to just share how good God is. And those of you who know Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I know you know how good God is. And you're waiting on something. Trust me. He is so good that he says in his word, those who wear the law will rise up like e rings of an eagle. And he says, wait again. Again, I say, wait. And be encouraged while you're waiting. I'm going to read this verse to you and how good God is. Surely, this is in Psalm 23, verse 6. I want to read this to you while you're waiting and you're consistent now. You're consistently doing what God told you to do. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's all you need. To draw in the house of the Lord forever. You're trusting God forever while you're consistent. While you're consistently worshiping God. While you're consistently praising to God. While you're consistently doing what he tells you to do. He, he's, he's, he's already have everything he's working out for you, for his glory. He's already doing what you need. He's already doing what you think you need. If it's according to his will, he'll do it for you. The Bible said, God holds no good things back from those who love him. Christ Jesus our Lord. He will hold no good things back from you. Like I'm waiting for something. I'm sure you're waiting for something. But we're consistently, while you're consistently doing it, just start thanking God. So God, I just want to say thank you. God, I want to say thank you. God, I want to say thank you. God, I want to say thank you. God will say thank you. Be consistent, everyone. And also, just continue to be thankful for what God has done. Hallelujah. 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 I'm so excited. I can yell to the truth top about God's love. And, and let me say this. When you are consistent, and then just right when that blessing is about to happen, you know what happened? Someone else come and takes it. See, what happened is, it's just like when somebody's digging oil, and that person digging it, and they don't see that, they say, forget it. And they leave, and they drive off miles, miles away. Then someone else come digging, poop, and they become rich. It's like a person who stole all their things and goods on this earth, and they never gave it to anyone. 
they die, then someone else can take it and enjoy it. That's why it's so important that we be consistent and we be a cheerful giver and we do what God tells us to do. Because God word says obedience is better than sacrifice. So we obey God. God comes to keep doing it. We keep doing it. Because we want to put God first and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be consistent. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I go, I want to share this with you. Any one of you who has listened to this whole um, program, I want you to know who I'm talking about. His name is Jesus. He loved you so much that he died for you on the cross. He gave his life for you and I. He loved you so much. He took the beating our sins on that cross that we should receive. But because he loved us, he died for us so we could repent to him and give our life to Jesus Christ. He is God's son and he's the only one that did this for us. And the only way that anyone could get to heaven is through God's son, Jesus Christ who shed his precious blood on the cross for our sin. He died for us. He who knew no sin became sin for us. You might be saying, well, what happened before Jesus was here? Well, back in the days before Jesus, Jesus God was always here, but what happened? They would sacrifice doves and pure animals, and they would atone it. They would shed the little blood for the animals. And they would make sacrifice to the animal. But Jesus came and died one and all. He shed his precious blood for you and I. And any second when he was on that cross, he could have legions of angels come down and take him down. But you know why he didn't, he suffered for you and I and he didn't get off that cross? It's because he thought about us today. He does not want us to go to hell. He wants us to be with heaven, with him. For God is love, not that love is God. And true love comes through God's Son, Jesus Christ. He's the only one that gave up his life for you and I. Now, I'm going to say this prayer. Won't you give your life to Jesus Christ today? Say this prayer to, with me. Lord Jesus Thank you. I believe you are God's son. Forgive me of all my sins. Come inside into my heart and change me. Show me how to live for you. Forgive me for everything I did against you, oh God. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for my sin. Show me Everything that is not of you that surround me, O oh God, or in me, take it out. And I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Glory be to God. He who knew no sin became sin for us. Hallelujah. And when you gave your life to Jesus Christ, I rejoice that Angels in heavens rejoicing with you because there's a celebration in heaven when one soul gives a cry to Christ. And I'm celebrating with you. God loves you. And I just want to share this with you. You gave your life to Jesus Christ. You can um, contact an email. There's an email um, on my um, email on my um, channel. And there's also a way that you can just write down that you gave your life to Jesus Christ. I just want to share just with you. Um, if you, you knew you gave your life to Christ, it's the best decision you make in your life. Get a Bible. Get a, uh, a NIV version, a New International King James Version, a New International Version. And you, you stop reading the Bible. Pray to God. Start from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then stop. God, what shall I read today? God will direct your path. Just ask him. 
And you, you know what praying is? You're talking to God and you're listening. You said, Father God, thank you in the name of Jesus. Make sure you say in the name of Jesus. And every day say, Jesus, reveal yourself to me. And you're quiet and you're still and you're listening and you're waiting on him. He will come in. You're his child. He loves you. He wants you and I to spend time with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, the Lamb of God that was slain. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. And when you uh, read the Bible consistently, you will grow, grow, grow. And pray to God about what church you should join, okay? Or gradually just read and pray and ask and speak to God about it. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, shall I be in this church? He will let you know. He will order your step. And when you read the word of God, you will know God for yourself. So if you go to a church that doesn't speak the word of God in the Bible, you keep growing. And him say, hey, I don't know that's correct. You keep reading. God will show you what's right and wrong because he loves you and you're his child now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so excited, everyone. <laughs> well, everyone, praise the name of Jesus. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Hallelujah to the people that gave their life to Jesus Christ. Oh, I get excited. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Until next time, don't forget God is so good. And I love you. Thank you for watching and listening. Praise God. So good. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching and listening.